Sometimes, you know, I like to just drink shit I shouldn't be drinking, like the Lamarita. And then I taste it with some Crown and uh, Dr. Pepper Cherry. Zero. Dr. Pepper Cherry. Oh, zero. You got to put zero on there, bro. Yeah, you got to put zero on there. You got to put zero on there. You know, I'm pretty, Recording in progress. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm comfortable. Comfortable. Ah, uh, man. So, uh. July 4th coming up. First off, we can't we can't go any further without uh I mean the bombshell KD as portrayed. I told I told niggas KD was a role player and they got mad at so, me. Yeah, that's that's a overstatement. What do you mean overstatement? That's a understatement. I mean it's like you try this man there's no role player in the history of the league. That's ever led the league in scoring hear three times. Out. Hear me out. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Durant is, is a superstar and, and top top three in the league, if not one in right now. Yeah. My basis of saying that he he of course he's a, he's he's not a role player. Yeah. But I said he was a role player because I don't think he can get it done by himself. I don't think Kevin Durant can get it done being the man. He Who has can. To, he has to go to a team where I'm he's saying who who has? A lot of people have. And when I say the man, I mean man, well, I mean I mean leadership. I mean I can Jordan, D Wade, LeBron, I can keep going. Kobe. I don't I can know. Keep I don't know, man. No, nah, don't don't say that. Don't say that. And when I say Kobe the man, has Shaq. I mean no, 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 no. Let's be let's let's keep it a buck. Kobe, Kobe has Shaq. Kobe has put the legs on his back and went and got a ring. D Wade has put D Wade has put the heat on his back and went and got a yeah. ring. Yeah. Elijah Wan By, has put the Rockets on his back and went and got a ring. He's the only one, man. Man, uh, Elijah Wan's the only one, I'm bro. Not, I'm not doing this tonight. That's that's some Listen, bullshit. That's look, some, that, that's a bullshit. That's, that's facts. facts. That's not that's facts. facts. That's not facts, book. That's a bullshit. Who that's else facts. won the championship with no other All Stars on their team? No other All Stars. No other All Stars on no no one on the roster. No the current or former All Stars on the roster. I'm not. He won a ring with Clyde Drexler. What are you talking about? The first one. I mean, you didn't specify the first one. You said when has somebody ever won it? Clyde That's what, yeah, when has somebody number two? But by the person, I don't remember who was. I don't remember who was the all star number one. There was no all stars. What you mean doesn't matter? That's proof, bro. But okay, all right. That's what I'm saying. So you telling me that you clearly just stopped me with what I was saying, bro? Go ahead, making my point. It's okay. My point is made. What? I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> no, nigga, I fucking mean? know, but you cut me off. So don't Go say, ahead, nigga, don't, don't say no, I don't know and laugh. You, you, I know what the you, fuck you. I was saying, but you cut me off with the bullshit. So it's okay. Nah. No, okay. okay. So to go back, I say Elijah Warren is the only player who won a chip with no other All Stars current or past on the roster. Okay. No, uh, Kenny Smith. Otis Thorpe, uh, 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 Mario Lee, uh, uh, Sam Cassell, uh, 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 Arthur Robert Ory. I feel like Robert Ory went to an All-Star game, though. No, man. Never. I feel like Robert Ory was on an All-Star team. Robert Ory has never been. There. Robert Ory never scored more than 10 points a game, man. He never what? Scored more than 10 points a game. That's not true. No, that's not true. That is true. Robert Ory has never scored more than 10 points in a game. No, that's not a true. game. I, no, I said a game uh, a career for a for season. I don't. I don't know. That's that. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's, if that's true. A, I'm not saying it's not. I just said I yeah. don't know. I didn't say you're lying. I said I don't know. Oh, Robert Ory never went to All Star game. Bro. He was I mean, never All Star. He was never a first team anything in the NBA. I don't know if Robert Ory has never has never averaged more than ten a game though. I don't know if that's true. I think his first year he was ten point one. That's the highest it's been in his whole career. I don't know if that's true. Let me see. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's, it could be. I, I don't know. I'm not the basketball expert. I was off by two points. He are, he averaged twelve. His his uh one two three one two three his fourth year. The rest of them are nine or below. Okay. From championship years, he three points a game, five points a game, uh, six points a game, six points a game. 
10.29.9. Yeah, I mean, he's not a bad player, bro, but nah, that, that, that Rockets team, bro, Elijah did that. He's the only one who said that, man. Even Jerry West, Will Chamberlain, they had all stars with them. They was together when they won the championship. The only one they got, Magic had Kareem, Magic had Worthy. Uh, Isaiah had Joe Dumars. Isaiah had Rodman. Isaiah had um, uh, Bill Ambeer. Jordan had Pippen. Then Jordan had Kuko. Uh, D. Wade had Shaq. Then D. Wade had LeBron in West College. LeBron had Kyrie. When last year, when the Curry didn't have his team, they didn't even make the playoffs. They didn't even make the playoffs last year when they didn't have the other two. Okay. So, I mean, I'm just saying. Lodgeman the only player. So saying that KD ain't never been the man on a team and won it, nobody – well, now, nah, because Kobe had caught Paul Gasol the other years and run our test. Wait, talking about what time and about? Lamar Odom. Whoa, 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 talking about. So you mean to tell me you don't think KD has had enough to win it? No, I'm saying – well, I'm saying that he has had enough to win it, but the other guys have had enough to win it too and didn't win. But some of I'm it saying, I'm talking about from a leadership standpoint, though. And I think that's where you cut me off. You didn't let me finish. I was talking uh, okay, from purely ahead. a leadership standpoint. KD mm -hmm. doesn't have that leadership standpoint to go out and get it. KD had enough in Oklahoma, but he chose to leave. KD has enough in 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 Brooklyn, but he's choosing to leave. What you I mean, mean enough? enough. What you I think enough? him. And I you think you don't him think he had enough. I don't think him and Kyrie was enough now. Okay. I'm thinking like when you when you match them against other players and other teams, Boston got a big foe, maybe. It doesn't it four. doesn't matter when you're telling me that we arguably have out of the top five players in the NBA, two of them on yeah. the same team. That should be enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a five man game, bro. That should be enough. You it's just, a five man you, game. You just told me Dream winning one by itself. Am I correct? And he's the only one. No, no, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, go ahead. You just told go me ahead. Dream winning one by itself, right? Yeah. Now we're all you. You we also can agree that mm -hmm. D Wade went mm -hmm. and won it with Shaq. With Shaq, right? Yeah. All right. Let me ask you a question. Who yeah. did Dirk have on his team when he went and won it? Oh, but he had he had he had Jason Who Kidd. Did Dirk have I'm on trying to tell team? you, he had Jason Kidd. He had Jason Terry. He had Sean Marion. He had uh, he, well, Stevenson played. And I, I ain't saying he an all star, but he, he now, had Stevenson. Now why? But he had four all stars. Now, now why oh. I agree. Yeah. Jason Kidd is a former All Star and Hall of Famer. Yeah, that one Hall of Famer All Star Jason Kidd when he won that ring. Yeah, I agree, but I still think that he was ha just having having a player who's been to the finals two two times before. I agree, and, and that experience, that All Star experience. Even though I'm not, a, I'm not what I used to be. A broken, uh, a, a shut down Jason Kidd is still top ten in the league. Still top I, ten. I wouldn't say he's top ten in the league, but I, at that time, I, I wouldn't say he was top ten in the league. What top twenty? Because because um, Jason Terry played a big part in that in that ring too. Yeah, and I don't know if Jason Terry was an all star or not. I'm not. Yes, up he's on my Jason been an all star Terry. before. He's been all star a couple of times in Atlanta. I feel like I feel like KD had more with his team than Dirk had with that team. Dirk put that I, team I on agree. his back. Dirk put that team on his back and went and got one. I can and almost say beat, Dirk. Didn't Dirk beat like a big three to get that ring? He beat LeBron now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can kind of agree with Dirk. I'm not going to give Dallas no props, though. So I'm going to say, yeah, Jason Terry. And he had Jack. But it's true, though, because like I'm saying, like I said, he he had, Elijah Wan didn't have no, no pass. We, we get that. We're, I'm, I'm, we're not on that anymore. I understand Elijah yeah. Wan take. I get that. Yeah. So it's like Dirk got people who, Dirk had people who had who had greatness in their in their DNA. They proved him I'm one of the greatest. Kobe, Dirk got Kobe a, won with Paul Gasol. And who else? Kyle Ron Artest. Kyle Gasol, Ron Artest. Uh, 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 Ariza, Lamar, right? No, nah, one with Trevor Ariza, one with Lamar Odom. I wouldn't put Trevor Ariza in that, in that uh, higher echelon of Lamar Odom, sixth man of the year. You know what I'm saying? I got players. But I'm not saying that there wasn't Kobe win and that he, he wasn't the catalyst, but like, and, and, and to go to Brooklyn and go out to KD, Kyrie, and that's a really good pairing. But we we saw like literally them two wasn't enough, man. That them other dudes is not good enough, man. What I'm it's like them. To, what, what other dudes? All right, so I get it. Kyrie was hurt. You had yeah. James Harden that was on one leg. But that's what I'm saying. But, but I'm still saying, 
if Harden was out there, that means Harden, Harden on one leg should be able to give you 20, 20, 20 points, right? I already did. I already right. did. So you mean to tell me if if you 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 mean to tell me you can't win with that? Now that if you don't have all your pieces, you can't. Now I'm saying the other people on the team was sorry, man. They he Harden. The re, I, I think in my heart. The reason why Harden was so quick to get about uh, Brooklyn, because he's like, man, it's the same thing I had the Rockets, man. Because it was times when it was just Harden and no, no Durant and no, because Kyrie was hurt for a while, Durant was hurt for uh like a month and a half, and now this is just like the Rockets, man. Like this is the same exact situation. So man, I ain't feeling this, bro. Let me out of here. I could have stayed over there and did this, Bruce Brown, Nick I Claxton. Feel, I, I feel like Harden is in the same situation now in Philly. Nah, he got he got a dog when he got a couple dogs with him, man. So what happened this year? Uh, which guy got hurt the first two? Who? Which guy got hurt? Uh, uh Embiid. And which guy was too good, bro? Who they play? They played um. Who too good? Who they played? Didn't they lose to Boston? I might. I'm not, I'm yeah, not. yeah, Boston. I think I think it was Boston. Was it Boston? I forgot, man. I forgot. I know. Do but, you think I mean, Golden State is better than Philly? <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, no. Not that Philly play. As a, a Golden State plays better than Philly, I would say that for sure. So but is Golden State Philly? better than Philly? Yeah. No. If they play better, they're better. Yeah, they play better. They have they so play better. So they're better than Philly. They're better. Yeah, better team. Yeah, if but they I'm play, about, then they're better than Philly. If Philly, if Philly came and played their potential, if if not, was a they, fifth, I'd be drunk. Are they better? Yes or no? It's no. That's what I'm saying. You, you can't. Yeah, because you never. Because they ain't played in the finals yet, or they ain't played yet, so you can't really tell what's gonna happen. Because is well, is Boston? I, I did, hold on. I, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about if they played in the finals. I'm asking you. You're Who's a basketball better? guy. You know you. Try, no, then you listen, don't want to ask me. No, listen to what I'm saying. You're a basketball yeah. guy, so I yeah. know you know basketball. I'm yeah. not asking you about if they're a better uh, uh, finals team. I'm a better team. You, are they a better team than Golden State? That's tough, bro. That's tough. How man. is it tough? Because, because on paper, break the teams and, down. And break uh, on paper, and uh, and 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 at full strength, if Harden, Embiid, Maxi, and Harris play up to potential, that's too much for Golden State. Well, what but what happens then, if Golden State plays up to their potential? And what I'm saying, so if Clay, if Clay, Dre, if all I'm do is play to their potential, man, I think that who oh, that's tough. I, that's who oh, that's tough. I think Embiid, because of the way he gets it, will make it too much. Because Embiid ain't just getting his. He getting his and making you in foul trouble, and he's stopping y'all. Whereas Curry getting his, getting his, but he Curry ain't stopping nobody, and Curry Curry is scoring. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm not hating it, but I'm just saying that Embiid is scoring too, and he blocking shots, and he getting rebounds. So Embiid and Curry cancel each other out. Who we got next? No, nah, I'm saying I, I'm saying everybody else cancels each other out. And then beating Curry are deciding factors to me, like Harden and Clay cancel out, um, Maxi and whatever secondary score they got. If it's Wiggins, they cancel out. Uh, uh, um, Tobias Harris and, and the next score they cancel out. So it really come down to your main two. It come down to your main two, and I'm, I'm like, I think that Curry, because them, bo- them boys both be on, on, in their thirties with the scoring. The B was like a half a percentage point behind being the scoring leader. And Curry's like fifth, but it be also is a rebound leader, block. I'm not leader, but you know, up in the top five, and also blocks top two, three in blocks, field goal percentage. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like so it's hard. Who, who's the better team? <sighs> who? Who? Yeah. I mean, you can say I say go to state then. I say go to state. Go to state. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, go to state plays to the potential more. So go to state. I think you said a lot because you truly ain't want to admit Golden State was a better team. Now, like I said, I still think about theory that it comes down to what Curry and and, and, and Big Man do. I'm going to tell you why I think Golden State is a better team than Philly. I understand everything you just said. You're right. Embiid yeah. is a beast. I don't know if Philly has an answer to Embiid. I'm sorry. I don't know if Golden State has an answer to Joel Embiid. Yeah, like Golden State barely had an answer for Boston with Brown and Tatum. So if they barely yeah. got an answer for them two, and I feel yeah. like I feel like Tatum played 
to their strengths. He was trying Tatum to play Tatum played play down, ball, man. Huh? It played him. Tatum didn't didn't ball out, man. He was trying to Brown. play like like that like that 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 closeout game. I saw this dude shooting fadeaway mid range to damn the three pointers, bro. Why? That's him. That's what he do. Abuse when, them, and then when bro, it goes, no, nobody's big enough. Abuse them. Why they? Don't... When when it go in, it look good. And when it don't, it look horrible, man. So I mean, so, that's, kind of, that's what I'm saying. No, nobody. They Golden State. Then I don't know about now with this new draft. This this dude they drafted, but yeah, Golden State last year didn't when would, would not have had an answer for Embiid. The problem is, when, hey, yeah, will Embiid stay healthy enough? That's you know what I'm saying like yeah. That's the thing. Like this year, he don't get hit in the elbow in the, in the face. It's a different series, right? Because he had to sit out to he had to sit out to to a game. He had a, fra- a fractured orbital situation. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ooh, it's tough, bro. I don't know if this James Harden is enough to help him beat out. If this, if this was James Harden of four seasons ago, yeah, uh hands down, they win and they win in the chip. I don't know. If I mean, this, I don't. I don't know if this James Harden is 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 enough. We. I don't. I, we'll see this year. Next year, like you know, what I'm saying to me, it's like you can't not saying that James Harden didn't have a subpar year for his standards, which is crazy when you say that. But uh, it was a lot of factors in, and it, it was a lot of factors in it. I think, I think James has to adjust his game a little bit. I think he just coming. I think he still ain't just running hill yet, bro. I think like you know, like I said, I you think know how I feel about that. That's his fault. Yeah, no, but even but even if it's just it's, even if it's his fault, you still if you have an injury, sometimes you don't bounce back like you know what I'm saying that next year. You might have to get a year to get used to it. And like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you got an injury. I, well, I don't know. I was saying we'll see. Cause they like he steps slower and it's probably it might be the injury. But then again, what time did he really have to rehab? You know what I'm saying? What time did he really have to lab up and go? So We'll see this year. We'll see this year. And if it is what it is, shit, yeah, he's still also, I mean, a Hall of Famer. I'll think of that too. Like, it's funny how people frame things, right? People will frame something a certain way to fit the way they feel. So this other cat over here, he a winner because he does it a certain way, right? Who said who, then, give me a give me a bad example. Give just, me a player. Just uh, I say, oh man, LeBron, man, it's not I, I don't want to say LeBron, somebody else. Yeah, please say somebody else. Uh 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 who's the player everybody talk about? Uh, uh <sighs> Steph Curry. Steph Curry, man, he stayed loyal to the to the uh to the uh Golden State Warriors, you know what I'm saying? He 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 he, ain't, he played one team and keeping it real with the company, right? Y- y'all can't talk about him. He ain't no team hopper. But then really Ain't the goal to cash out to make the most you can? Ain't that the ultimate goal of like? Ain't that the ultimate goal? No, nah, the ultimate goal. But so this will vary, and this is bigger than sports. This will vary from person to person because it all depends yeah. on what your goal is. If your goal is simply chasing a the dollar, then you know it doesn't matter. Because uh, all right, so I look at it this way, and and I don't know if I can apply this to professional sports and athletes. Which mm-hmm. I guess you can, but how I look at it is this: I'm I'm not necessarily going to be loyal to Company A because yeah. I can be loyal to Company A. I mm-hmm. can give 150 percent to Company A. Mm-hmm. Company A can cap my earning potential. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I I only can earn as much as Company A is willing to pay me. I and agree. when the numbers don't work for company A. Yeah. They will lay me off in a heartbeat. So yes. if that's company A's loyalty to me, why should I have unwavering loyalty to company A? So the moment the numbers don't work for me, mm-hmm. I should bounce and go find somewhere else. So that's how I, I look at yeah. it. Now yeah, in, that's how th- in the sports aspect, in the sports realm. And even in your personal realm, I think it just depends on what's most important to you, personal goals, professional goals, things yeah. like that. If I'm, let's say, Seth Curry and my goal is to win championships, mm-hmm. or if I'm if I'm Tom Brady and my goal is to win championships, and mm-hmm. I see that I'm on a roster, on an organization that's about championship winning, 
in a system that fits me, the system has been built around me. Mm -hmm. The long run is take the most money I can take and still be competitive and win rings. Yeah. But what if I'm saying like, what what if I'm like, man, look, this this situation is good for me, but I can go over here and they're going to change everything for me over here and pay me three times. So if paying you three times opposed to maybe two times is most important to you, then you go get you go get the three times pay, and they're gonna change the system for me. But see, and, it's, it's, and I don't I was, think it's it the right or wrong answer. I think it's no, literally up saying, to that player. What I was saying the two part of it, the two part of it was, and I was like, I'm saying it was like funny how people look at it because then when you criticize said athlete for doing that, then it's like, oh man, he making money. What you, how you gonna talk about him? He making money. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, he he getting bread. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? How you going to criticize him getting bread? So it's like, it's really, I understand what you're saying about the personal preference of wh- who is where, who wants what and what. But ultimately, like the money is 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 a driving force, man. Because I'm not going to go, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take less than what I'm worth so I can big up and win for the Patriots. But that's not true because we champion Tom Brady for doing that. We champion the athletes, Tom, the Tom Brady's of the world, the Steph Curry, the Steph Curry's of the world who say, I'm going to take less money to make sure I have a championship roster and keep winning. Well, that's the, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of our game, man. Cause like, okay, I'm going to take we less literally, money. Not, and I, when I say we, not you, cause I don't know if you do people yeah. literally champion Tom Brady and call him one of the smartest people, players to play and one of the reasons is because he kept restructuring his 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 contract not yeah. being the highest paid quarterback when he clearly should have yeah. been to keep winning championships and ultimately but, it paid off but you know what i'm saying is that some of that is kind of game bro because like the 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 always all we did was say look i'm not gonna make y'all tax me for the i'm, I'm not gonna take like i know i i can go this far in your budget to get the money but I'm gonna just go a little bit in your in your pocket, but y'all make sure I get the Gillette, the Gillette money and it's likely money. Y'all make sure if that happen if that happens, then I'll do this. You know what I'm saying? That's what Dwight Howard did. But I'm trying to with, see with the, the Rockets. Problem. I'm trying to see what the problem is though. No, no, but I'm saying that's what Dwight Howard did. When Dwight Howard came down here and signed with the Rockets, he could have signed somewhere else for more. But they was like, okay, if you come down here, we're gonna give you this this show. We're gonna pay you two million a year for the show. We're gonna get this thing over here. We're gonna pay you four million for that. So that's the six million that you're gonna get somewhere else, and you got the three, same three year deal. So okay. when you sign for, so when you sign with what you sign for on paper, it's like, oh, Dwight Howard took a paycheck so he can play with with James Harden. But then the, the, the truth is, Dwight Howard has got his money somewhere else. If the, it was still a money move, he's like, oh, I can go where I want to. They ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but I'm I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get to where you're going because if I'm Tom Brady. Yeah, and if I say, "Hey, you know what?" Sal- and this happened. Andre Johnson used to do it every year. Salary yeah. wise, on paper, mm-hmm. I'm Andre Johnson on paper number one receiver for a couple of years in the, yeah. in the league. Yeah, he wasn't getting paid top receiver money yeah. on paper in the league. Yeah, he was fine with that. He took less money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they could sign more pieces and got more money in bulk on a signing bonus. So on paper, yeah. no, I'm not the highest paid receiver. But yeah. where I didn't take that on paper, y'all made up for it in a sign of bonus, like you said. Or, you know, maybe maybe there was an example like you gave where I get it somewhere else. Yeah. How, that's not a bad move at all. At that point. I didn't say, I'm not saying it's a bad move. I'm no, saying but that. You, the, but you kind of framed it like it was it was cap. No, I'm I framed I'm framing it like this. Like, okay. Um when you when they read it to us, it's taken like, oh yeah, he took we ain't we don't talk about that eight million that he got over there. We don't even talk why, about, why that. Are you talking about that. I'm saying I'm, that's what I'm saying. Why, we why know, is that even factored in though? I'm gonna tell you why, because we know he could have went to Atlanta and got 18 million, right? But he came here and got 10 and got the A on the side. We don't talk about the side. But so but in the eye, saying, hold on, let, me, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. In the eyes of the public, they're like, man, yeah, man, he he took a pay cut so he can win, right? But, he did, but really he didn't take a pay cut. He, no, he didn't he take did. a pay cut. He did. He did. Ah, we got the same 18. Because, no, 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 no. He did. Because the Tom Brady's of the world or the Steph Curry's of the world who did that, they yeah. could have took the 18 over here plus the extra eight. The, the extra eight in endorsements or whatever that was, they're going to yeah. get that regardless, whether they take it over here or over there. 
Yeah. So they did take a pay cut. They did take a pay cut. If if we're going by what you're saying. Yeah, so they did take a pay cut. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give y'all a hometown discount because I've been here. We we have championship pedigree. The system is straight. Let yeah. me take a pay cut so we can go sign two more pieces to give us longevity. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go get the extra eight over here. Yeah, yeah, they took a pay cut because if I if I decide to get up and take my talents over here, yeah, I'll get twenty two mil instead of the eighteen mil, and I'm gonna still get the extra eight endorsements I was gonna get anyway. So they no. did take a pay cut. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, because yes, no, I'm saying no, one hundred percent they did. They're gonna get that money anyway, book. What I'm saying is this: You think Tom Brady leaves the Patriots, goes to some, goes to to um San Antonio? I mean to Dallas, and he still gets that Gillette contract? What? You don't think he does? Fuck the it's Gillette that, Stadium, you know bro. It's Gillette, it's Gillette Stadium. Stadium. So you know what? James Boogie, <laughs> they tied into the <laughs> Patriots. He might not get the eight from Gillette. You don't think he gonna go to Texas to Cowboy Stadium and not get the eight from somewhere else? So what I'm saying is, do you is, really think that's a thing, bro? No, what I think, I, what I think, what I do think is that I think that the provision, because like really, the provision that's put in there is put in there, not by him saying, "Oh, I got eight on the table." Out here anyway, the provision is like, "Hey man, we we we'll get you an extra eight, however it go." You know what I'm saying? You still gonna get that same eight, regardless if you came here or not. Let me ask you a question. It's not. It's what? Let me ask you a question. What? You don't think that Tom Brady can go to any NFL franchise yeah. and whatever that extra eight they gonna give him for giving yeah. a hometown discount? Yeah. You don't think he can't go to any other team and get that extra eight somewhere else? Yeah, but he can. But what I'm saying is also what I'm saying is doing it doing it here is is a is a better look all around the board. I'm in a better team. I'm 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 gonna I'm a better team. We got a better chance to win. You know what I'm saying? Me going over there, I get that same bread and I get the extra eight, but I'm a bad team. So the, the team the, the the goodness of the team is is helping me get over here. What what are you talking about? I, if I go to the, most of the time when you go you, the big money, the the bad teams got a bunch of money. That's why who got, that's why they they have the, the big name, the big money, the bad teams, right? Because they don't have nobody. So when it be free agencies, it be the the midway teams and the, and the good teams trying to convince the good players to come because because people gonna get their bag. Demarcus Cousins went got his bag. Uh, Anthony Davis went got his bag. Zion Williams got his bag. Like everybody who got who got it's bag time. That's the first thing Wiggins them said when they won. We finna get a bag. We finna get they literally on the camera saying that they know because now I got a championship. So any sorry team is gonna overpay for me. And if I stay here to keep me here, they finna add on this this backdoor money that we ain't gonna see to make it match that what you call it. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's the bread, bro. <laughs> I think I don't know. It's the bread, I, man. I, I, you, you just I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. What? It's the bread, man. It's, it ain't the it ain't it ain't the rah rah that we that we try to make it like the, the the narrative that it be, you know, good good. I'm trying to you know take a pay cut so that we can. No, I'd be like, man, it's this bread, man. It's this bread, and the the way the way I go lose for five years to get this bread before I. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what they be doing. Okay. <laughs> you don't think Stafford wanted to leave after the after the fourth year? Who? Matt Stafford from uh Detroit. And the nigga couldn't stay healthy, so nobody was gonna give him the money he was making. Matt Stafford historically couldn't stay healthy. Tell me I'm lying. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Huh? I don't think that's true. You think it's what? I don't think that's true. You don't think Matthew Stafford had an issue with being healthy? No. So you mean to tell me Matthew Stafford, who had he for the issues since he got out of college, didn't have an issue staying healthy. He had he, he had a shoulder issue in college, bro. 100%. Matthew Stafford. So, you, so you're saying he ain't – you're saying he won't get no money nowhere? Who said he wouldn't get money? What are you talking about? And I say you say he wouldn't get no money nowhere else because he was injury prone. What? No one said that, book. He was no, getting asking, plenty of I'm money asking. in Detroit. I'm saying I asked you. You said he wouldn't get money anywhere else because he's I injury didn't prone. Say that. No one said oh, that. I I asked you why do you think he said in Detroit, and you said because he was injury prone. Yeah, he was injury prone, bro. He was he he could he wasn't staying healthy. 
So are you going to spend a bag on a quarterback who can't stay healthy? Do you think yeah. he was making the same money in, in L.A. that he was making in Detroit? Actually, yeah. So you, so you <laughs> He's making more. So you think that L.A. would have shelled out a big-ass contract to Matthew Stafford? Old-ass Matthew yep. Stafford with, issue, with injury issues. Or I, did he get traded to L.A. and his contract went with him? Which one was it? I'm saying that I'm sure that at Matthew Stafford got – more money this year than he's. he's so you telling got, me that the L.A. Rams signed Matthew Stafford to more money than he was making in D- Detroit? How did he get there? Was it free agency or did he get traded? I don't, I don't remember. He got traded, and when he got traded, <laughs> when he got traded after the Super Bowl, they gave him a four year, one hundred sixty million dollar contract. Time out, time out, sir. Time out, sir. Time out, sir. Yeah, we're not talking about after he won a Super Bowl. Historically. Okay. After the quarterback wins the Super Bowl, they give him bread. That's what yeah. happened to your boy uh, from Delaware when he won with the with the Ravens. They mm-hmm. they they paid him stupidly. So I'm not talking Delaware. about after he Who won. Talking about, talking about, uh, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco was never a good quarterback. He won the Super Bowl and told him to bag up the truck, and they did. And he never won a thing again. No, I'm not saying Matthew Stafford. And Joe Flacco are the same caliber of quarterback. Matthew Stafford has always been a top tier quarterback when he's on the field. I was speaking about yeah, before. Um, I was speaking about before he won a Super Bowl, sir, not after he won the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I, before he won the Super Bowl, he was still getting paid stupid, ridiculous. But, but it was because he didn't get traded. He got, he got traded. Uh, he asked for a trade uh, yes. last year and got traded. Yeah, he he won a free agent and they bagged up the Brinks truck. So whatever contract he had when he went over there is the contract he had when he was with Detroit. Let me see, man. Oh, yeah, man. Ooh, this <laughs> one broke off, man. Golly, man. Ooh. This man, oh, my God. So, uh, let me see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This man's getting paid, man. This dude's getting paid. 2013 to 2017, he made a 17 million a year. Uh, 2009 to 15, he made 12 million a year. We understand all of that. We 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 know Detroit paid him. What was yeah. He, did he get traded or did he get get cut from 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 Detroit? No, he got he got trade as per trade. Okay, he asked so per trade. When he got traded. Mm-hmm. His contract went with him to L.A., correct, right? He was in the last year of the contract, I think. I, yeah. I understand that. His contract yeah. went with him, right? How much was he making the last year of his contract? Last year of his contract, he was making, uh, let's say, uh, 2000 and what's that, 21? He's making $27 million. Because that's the contract he had from Detroit, right? I was saying, yeah, yeah, it had to be. It has to be. Yeah. Okay. What I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is just because they got it from there, they accept that contract. So it's like they sign them. They, when, I, when you trade me to which college, I'm saying, hey, I'm taking on your salary. Are you worth what I'm, you ain't like I'm saying, of course, man. I had no yeah. quarterback, bro. I had zero quarterback. So I'm betting on Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford has been a good quarterback when on the field. But Who was I'm, that quarterback? I'm also, it was, saying, uh, I'm also saying, if Matthew Stafford is just on the street pre Super Bowl, I'm not giving him twenty seven million. No, I'm not. I mean, that's your opinion as a GM. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't have any refusion to that. If that's the word refusion. I can't refute that. Pre Super Bowl, Matthew Stafford is on the street. Tell mm-hmm. me why I'm going to pay him twenty seven million? Because he was a fool in Detroit that last year, man. That's why he was a fool in Detroit, man, and we ain't had nothing. What did he win in Detroit? Why he was being a fool? This last year in Detroit, he was four thousand. I asked you, both, what did he win? Did he one, only to, one. Did he, did he go to the playoffs? Did he make a deep run? Did he go to the Super Bowl? I think they went to the playoffs. I don't pull know if up his la- pull run. up his last year in Detroit. Tell me what he did. Tell me his productivity. Look at it. He four, he he was eight hundred yards less than he was this in the L.A. He had 26 touchdowns, uh, 10 interceptions, and he had 41 with L.A. What did his team do? His team, his record, let's see, Detroit. 
at you. They were that's twenty twenty, right? Yeah. That year they were Detroit Lions standings. I'm gonna guess it was like eight and eight. I think right, you got your game. phone out. You tell me. Don't get it. Why your you why, why your slow ass phone still loading, bro? Because I got I'm I'm doing so much at one time, man. Bullshit. That's what you're doing. Seven, Bullshit. You still ain't seven, telling me the record. Don't put the phone down. Tell me the record. I'm finna get I'm get, I'm getting my phone, bro. I'm gonna take the record right now. Detroit Lions. Detroit. This is great. Lions. 2022. Don't record. look up 2022. That's uh, the 20, wrong record. Sorry. Look up. Oh, that was 5-11. When? His last year in Detroit, that was 5-11? Mm-hmm. Now, how many games did he play? Tell me that. Uh, let me see. Did he play the full season? I'm almost sure he did. Let me see. Uh, players and let's go, Matt Stafford. Stafford, two hundred two thousand uh, two thousand and twenty. Uh, there we go. Stats. He played. I told you he had 4,000 4, yards, bro. He, he had a power I game. I asked you how many games did he play, bro. I'm going to tell you right now. He played... Uh, he played... Played 16 games. Cool. All right, cool. What's Started 16. Cool. What's the next he only topic? had one year where he didn't play every game of the, of the season, bro. Cool. What's the next topic? I don't know. I want you to, to, to retract what you said about him being injury prone, bro. Because he only has. A, I ain't retracting shit. What's the next, what's the next he, he, You said that he has a history of being. I'm not injured. retracting shit. What's the next he topic? He only has one what's year. What's the next topic? He the, only has one year Boogie, when he did top? not. Boogie, well, what's, what I'm saying? Boogie, what's the next you just topic? said a total falsity, bro. Boogie, you don't want to. You didn't say you 20 total falsities this no, entire uh, uh, No, so I far. have not. This what's, is no, what's I have the not. Next topic. Just wanted, I just wanted to be known that what's you said something that was hundred percent not true, man. What's what the you mean? Next topic. You shouldn't be drinking. That's the next topic. Does he? Man. Does he? Or does he not have an issue with, with his shoulder? No, he ain't. No, he ain't never played. He started every game of his career. Matthew except for, Stafford has never had an issue with his with his shoulder. Matthew Stafford only had one season in his career where he didn't play. He didn't play every game of the season. So whatever issue he had, he played Talk and on. started. Say it one more time. He only has one year where he didn't start every game of the year. 16, 16, 16, 8, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. 16. He ain't never missed no games, bro. How many 16s so, did you just say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in a row. Matthew Stafford has been in the league more than nine years, though. He's been in the league. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or I'm sorry, eleven. Count next this year. Eleven. Okay. What's the next topic? The next topic is I forgot, man. You made me you made you threw me off, man, with your shenanigans, bro. Uh, oh, yeah, man. Uh McDonald's Gate, man. I don't give a fuck about that stupid ass bullshit. It was a prank anyway. That 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 shit wasn't real. I mean, the 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 subject matter is real, though. McDonald's gate is a real thing. No, the oh yeah, the subject matter is real. Like, do you bring food for all the kids in the house, or you do you bring for one? Oh, hold on, pause right quick. I said pause this time, so don't 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 cut the fucking uh the pod off this time. Okay? I'm pausing. I'm pausing. Stopped. I'm pausing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we back. You said McDonald's gate. Recording so, in progress. Gate. How do I feel I mean, about that? I mean. I don't know. I think we've all gone through a version of it before, being men and talking to women who uh, have uh, children. Yeah, no, uh, I don't date women with female. With I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't. I don't date females with kids if I was single. For uh, this reason, right here, bro. For this very I mean, exact reason, bro. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Now I will say this though. At the time when I had the stance, I was young enough to be able to have a pool of females without kids. Yeah. At, at 41, if I was single, 
and dating young ladies, I probably wouldn't have this stance. But um, yeah, it's just yeah, it's you know people things happen because I don't want it. To, I don't want it to come across like I think it's a bad thing if you are a single female with a kid. That's not what I'm trying to say. With that being said, Cause, cause that's what it sounds like, brother. I don't, you know, I didn't want to say it out loud. But that's what it sounds. I don't, I don't want our female listeners to think that I was okay with that because I was not. I've come, you know, I was, I've also come to the conclusion that anytime you have an opportunity to throw me under the bus, you 100 percent do, bro. I know you did. <laughs> no, nah, because I tried no, you throw yourself under the bus, but I you, never but you, myself, bro. no, you throw yourself under the bus and then you try to put it off on me doing it to you. No, 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 you definitely be awesome. You, see, nah, I can't bro. say that. You, you, you said under you, the bus. You I mean, 100% will do some shit like have two young ladies you're involved with. Why do on you the pod at the always same time? bring that up? And like then it's the when truth, I make bro. A statement, it is the truth, bro. And then when I make a statement, it's my fault. Bro, that's not the truth, man. Are you just read the, the room wrong i'm not reading the room wrong at all bro um, you, yes, are you are putting yourself in these situations because you think bro, that no these young ladies be, yeah. aren't smart enough to put two and two together see how you be planting seeds of of, of deceit in people's brains and no think, these are your seeds brother not mine no nah, man no seeds involved these are man. your seeds are brother not mine <laughs> uh don't man, make me so call much. dr umar johnson on here bro but with that being said, I look at it two ways. Mm -hmm. I got a kid with a female and she got three other kids. Now, me being the upstanding citizen of Zamunda that I am, mm -hmm. I feel like it's some whole ass shit if every day my kid is eating <laughs> uh, Chick-fil-A Chick -fil or McDonald's at the yeah. table with his three siblings and they all hungry. Yeah. I that feel tough, I, I feel a little bad. But at the same time, I ain't coming through every day bringing all your kids food and I only have one kid with you. I think and then this, this yeah. Yeah. I mean especially if sometimes you, especially if you ungrateful the way she displayed, even though I know it's a skit. Yeah. There are some women who act that way in real life. It's also a funny part that like some women like like okay, me and you dating. Me and me and you dating. Or, okay, you me and you dating, but your dad's your your uh me and you dating, but the kid's dad, I, I got I I'm we together, living together. The kid's dad one of the kids dad got come over, you know what I'm saying, take care of his kid. So it's like you want me to take care of the kid whose dad's like I'm kind of like doing double. I'm like that's it's, it is a, it's a weird situation, bro. I'll say this: if I'm involved with the young lady, so if we're a couple, yeah. yeah. If we're a couple, it's different. So if we're a couple, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I if we're a couple, me and you, me and the young lady have a kid. She got two other kids, but me and this young lady are actual couple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether we live, I can, together, I'm not saying, yeah, I, I agree. I'm saying, saying, like, I'm saying, I'm a, whether we yeah. living or not, living together or not, if me and this young lady are an actual couple, we have a kid together, and she has other kids that aren't mine. Yeah. If I come over there and take my kid to Chuck E. Cheese, your siblings can come too. You know what I'm saying? Hell, even if we ain't together, and it's a special Tuesday, Saturday, uh, during summertime or whatever. Yeah, and I come say, hey, you know, I'm I'm gonna take my kid to Chuck E. Cheese. I'm gonna take all the kids to Chuck E. Cheese, cause I don't, cause the other piece is too, that is that kid's sibling. They might want to do some things with the sibling. You don't want bullshit going on where one sibling is mad at the other because your daddy did this and my dad don't do that. So no. Yeah. And that's even with school time shit. You know what I'm saying? They got Jordans. I ain't gonna come and, and by my got, kid, no Jordans, yeah. and his other two siblings or her siblings got a way the same, you know, bullshit yeah. ass, dust ass K Swiss from last year, school year. Some dust ass diddle. Bust that, dust that, dust ass diddle. Dust ass diddle. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I will, I, it? if I got it, now if I got it, and it ain't putting me in the bind. Yeah. I, It'd be I'll live. Take in, all three. 
it'll be live if the if the two dads come together like hey let's go half on that you know what i'm saying let's go half on it man and make sure all the kids get you know top of the line shoe that'll be that'll be very live you know what i'm saying that'll be very live you know what i'll keep it a book if i'm if i got a female if i if i'll keep it a book because nine times out of ten if you messing with a female who got four kids and you baby yeah. daddy number four out of four, yeah, nine times out of ten, all four of you niggas, yeah, have been in the same place at the same time and know of each other. You think so? No, nah, man, come no. on. Don't you a lot of times, nah, that, man. nah. That, man. <laughs> think about it, bro. Think about it, bro. Because at one point in time, you've been involved with this young lady, bro. Most in most scenarios, you've been involved with her at some point. In some fashion. I mean, when, I so mean, it's not far fetched to think if I'm dealing with this young lady, and I don't want to say four four kids or four different dudes. So yeah. I'm gonna say if I'm dealing with this young lady and I got a kid with her and she got another kid or two from another yeah. guy or two, yeah. it's not far fetched to say that at some point we have been in the presence of each other. It ain't far fetched. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, 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 this is your take. So with that being said, you know, my, like, hey brother, she a little trifling. So this is what we're going to do. On Tuesdays, I'm going to yeah. bring, I'm going to bring McDonald's. Yeah. And then on Thursdays, you bring McDonald's. I'm saying, I mean, that's cool. That'd be live, man. I'm just saying like, I ain't never, I ain't never dated a girl and the baby daddy called me. I ain't say call you, but did you? you yeah, but I'm saying. Just call me like I mean, you would and sometimes and when they do call you, if they do it'd be like I'm checking to see who around who around my kid because I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? I don't have kids and I've ran into the the new nigga that the baby was yeah. dating. And they ain't my kids. They my niece and nephews. And I've ran into the new nigga that the baby mama dating. So with that being said, if you are the daddy and the mama got some 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 more kids. Nine times out of ten, you didn't ran into the new nigga or the presence of the other baby daddy. Y'all didn't have y'all might have in passing, y'all might have been, man, she a trifling ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't had that conversation before. One hundred percent. I think that I think that uh I know that sometimes baby mama get together and they uh you know, for the betterment of the kids, like, hey, you know what I'm saying, some night this weekend he can stay at my house, you know what I'm saying? That that's that's common. I think you don't men, think baby daddies have done that? Man, niggas, they niggas had, had whole, whole beefs over the new nigga anyway. So you know y'all done been in the same area before. I mean, sometimes it depends. That's that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of random. So I mean, why, sometimes you right. Why, why is it that you that you would think the females have what the men haven't? Because I think females look at it differently, bro. Because you know, females are more nurturing anyway, so they they have more of an empathy of of saying, "Hey, I, I know what it's like." You know what I'm saying? You know, we, I ain't going to trip. You know what I'm saying? Your kids, like a lot of times, you know, your kids say my kids and vice versa. I ain't never had a female trip on my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Say that one more time. I ain't never had a, a, a female trip on my daughter. Like, but oh, I, don't, no, I, yeah. don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think, and correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think yeah. you've been in this situation before. Have I had to, have I had to pay for somebody else's kids' food? No, I ain't talking about that. I'm just talking about like right. running into another nigga. Like, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I don't think. You know, <laughs> I see. I said that. <laughs> I, I'm not aware <laughs> that your baby mama has another child. Oh, she doesn't. She doesn't. That's what I'm saying. So you haven't like you haven't dealt with that. Before. I have. I have. I have been on that end, but I'm saying that I have dated women who have who have children, and it's like you know what I'm saying. They ain't never called me and be like, hey, but man, nah, I think different. one time. But that's different. But that's different, though. I'm yeah. talking about a female who has multiple kids from different niggas. Yeah. I'm almost sure that the two baby daddies have crossed paths. Uh, I'm, that's, that's, it. that's your take. That's your take. I'm not going to. I mean, I mean, it's, 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 it's possible. A, it's a but difference between the dude. I don't think it's, it's a difference between the dude who is dating a female who happens to have a child. Yeah. In that situation. I don't necessarily think that you have to cross paths with the baby daddy. I think you should, though. I, I think well, you should. I think out of respect, the woman, if I'm going to be having in, in a woman, man, period, if I have a kid and I'm going to be having someone around said kid, mm -hmm. I just think out of respect, and, this, I, and, and the problem is sometimes people have egos, out of mm -hmm. respect, 
you 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 should let somebody know who's gonna be around your child. Yeah. And they meet them. Because yeah. I think that's important, bro. Because you don't know who these people are. And sometimes you can be blinded by, you know, um, yeah. you can be blinded by whatever it is that you that you that you think you see in a person, and yeah. somebody who has an outside view, who doesn't have any other motives outside of the 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 safety of the child, can yeah. say, you know what, I, I feel a little weird about that. But the problem be, you know, what I'm saying we don't be trusting each other, and people be thinking we on some fuck shit like. Co-parenting is a beautiful thing. I don't have to be with you because we had a kid, but you know we shared a moment, and from that moment, we created this beautiful thing. So the ego should be set aside, and we should be able to co-parent and raise this child. And God damn it, we should make sure that the people around this kid are, are good for that kid. Yeah, sounds good. Human, humans are different, though. It do sound uh, good, but most of the time it yeah. don't work that way. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking about it, like, dang, let's go. You got a haircut, man, or edge up? Huh? You got a haircut or edge up? Say it one more time. Did you get a haircut or an edge up? <laughs> or, I haven't gotten anything, my brother. You just, you just sharp like that naturally, man. I'm just naturally sharp like this, yes, my nigga. Oh, okay. Uh, that's you, your hair line look kind of, kind of like, kind of crisp. I was like, man. You're about to experience a nigga moment. <laughs> Which like clockwork, once a pod, the hairline comes up. I haven't. I said I, your, I'm, I said I'm, I'm you, due for a hair appointment, bro. Bro, I said your hairline looks crisp, it's like it's like crisp. freshly it's, cut. It's it's, it's 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 natural, my nigga. Maybe you brush it sideways. No, I, just, I don't I, know. To be honest with you, I ain't combed my hair in two days. If y'all could see this guy's hair, man, and him say he ain't comb his hair, like. He acting like he has African American hair. He has hair from off the side of Cuba somewhere. So it's like, is he don't have to comb his hair? Is this curly? You know, it's like it's like you got big poppy hair, man. When was the last time you had to comb your hair? This morning. Not your beard. Oh, doesn't matter. Well, dude, I'm, I don't know. Cause you ain't got no hair, nigga. That's why. What the heck? So why are you gotta tell me not having hair? I'm just describing because everybody in the in the pod world can't see your hair. Well, everybody, I mean, let you tell meet. that you drop the, the 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 video the visuals every week. Let me tell it. I I drop the visuals weekly. I do. I'm a, I'm behind on some weeks. I got so if some you drop edit, the man. visuals weekly, then all of our audience should be able to see my Chris Pearline weekly. Yeah, but not all the audience watches the audience, watches the video. Some do it in the car and they, on the way. You know, we, we got Spreaker fans, we got the, the, the Spotify Matter fans. Fact, we used to drop thank, thank you for getting us banned yeah. in Russia on YouTube. By the way, thank you. Oh, that's, that's fine. We probably banned, it, but we don't have. First off, every Russia's closed. Yes, Russia's YouTube is turned off. So look, look. All I'm saying is, if yeah. someone was able to have YouTube in Russia. Which I don't know if yeah, Russia illegally. YouTube is turned up, turned off. We illegally. clearly, we clearly can't get views in Russia because you want to play uh, cash in, cash out, which which cash in, cash out per yeah. YouTube yeah. is in violation of something, and we're muted in Russia. Thank you. I almost, <laughs> I almost. <laughs> Brittany Griner might have access to a phone. A, a yeah. computer or something, and she might want to check out yeah. the 16 Shots podcast with one young James Boogie. Talk to him. Tell me how you took it. I'm going to tell you what I meant. And she can't so, is hear that the name it. of this podcast? Oh, or? Shit. Now, let's begin the story. I, I didn't know if that was the name of the podcast. Uh, that time, motherfuckers. Uh, dub down, motherfuckers. H Town's finest 16 Shots podcast. I'm lightning. What's the plan now? Yeah, like I was saying, with the grinder, she might not be able to listen to the 16 Shots podcast with one young James Boogie. <laughs> tell me how you took it. I'm going to tell you what I meant. You know what I'm saying? She might not be able to listen to us, and she might not be able to tell the prison guards. Tell me how you took it. I'm going to tell you what I meant. Because, you know, you, you, know it's, you play you know cash funny. in, cash out, and we banned in Russia. You know what's funny, man? What? What's funny is that if you think about it, like you think about it, Brittany Griner is an international basketball player. She's been playing overseas for the last, you know, five, six years. Five, six years. I feel like she's been playing overseas. 
I feel like Brittany Grind is a, a 10 year plus vet, bro. Might be, might be, might be. And so she's familiar with what can and can't be done. You know what I'm saying? And even if she thought she could sneak in and we, and you know, it's like, oh, I caught the entire outrage from the Americans. It's like, that's not how we do business. So how can y'all do business like that? Like, how can I literally break a law that, you know, say that's, that's not like they made it up on Monday. It's like, man, you can't bring no cartridges in. And it's like, nah, man, you can't bring no drugs in here. Well, well, uh, first off, A, she should have known better. Uh, yeah. She wasn't sneaking it in. She was leaving. So she, this is something that she's clearly done before. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. That's even worse than that. Like, you been had this? Oh, man. So how, what is, else you brought in so here? This is the real thing. So, all right, this is the problem. Because marijuana is being legalized in, in the U.S., mm-hmm. honestly, you can hop on a plane with, 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 you can hop on a plane with a flower if you want to. They're not yeah. checking that shit in your bags. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? When you're coming in and out of some of these places, if you got gummies, carts, the flower, you know what I'm saying? The honey. All of that, you can really, as long as you ain't Boston, Georgia, and that shit, bro. But you're in Russia, and you know better. Well, and that's the thing. If I'm traveling, look, when I go to Mexico, I'm not throwing no cart to my bag, no flour, no gummies, no nothing, no joints, yeah. none of that shit. Yeah. Because I'm not going to jail in Mexico. You should know <laughs> when you're traveling overseas, I don't want to go the, shit, overseas, the shit that you get away with in America you can't get away with that shit in other places. They be lashing you with, with, with um. You go to Singapore and some of this fuck yeah. shit you get away with in America, you can't get away with in Singapore. They cutting out hands, man. Yeah. They cutting out hands in in parts of the world, man. They- so I go, have I told you about my, my gummy story? So all right, so so this is funny. I went to Colorado for work. Okay. And um, I went to the dispensary. Yeah. This was 2019. Mm-hmm. So first off, pre-COVID. pre-COVID, I park, I go to the dispensary. Um, it was one right, it was a dispensary right across the street from my place of employment. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be seen walking in. So I go to one on the other side of town. <clears throat> I park and it's like from, from, from jump, I'm walking into the building. Like the feds is watching. Like I'm finna go make a million dollar purchase. So I walk in there, bro. You show your ID, they buzz you in. I go in there, bro. I'm even low key kind of whispering. I talk to the nigga at the bar, like, "Say, man, uh, what 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 you suggest? What your what your boys got, man? You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to get high, but I don't want to get too high." And he was like, "Oh, my brother, let me tell you." And he had this big ass screen with about two hundred choices. And then he was like, well, you know, how you want to feel? I yeah. said, yeah, man, I want uh-huh. to feel, I want to feel happy. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to be drowsy. I want, I want the creative vibe and I want energy. And he was like, my brother, I have the flower for you. It's a hybrid. It does X, Y, and Z. This nigga mm-hmm. poured a sample out with a magnifying glass. Look at the crystal, sir. And I'm looking at this shit like I know what I'm looking at. Like I'm a fucking botanist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I, I'm like, I'm a botanist off botany. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool, bro. I want that. Botany boys talk about this all the time. And so yeah. I ordered the shit. I ordered a whole gram of that shit. They put the whole gram, they put the whole half a gram in a, uh, it wasn't a gram, it was a half a gram of that shit. No, it was a whole gram, bro. Put the whole gram in a, in a fucking raw cone. It's a pre roll. Pre roll in a fucking raw yeah. cone. And then I bought a bottle of gummies, and so then I go to the to the to the. To how the much is how much you spent? I spent about fifty, sixty. Oh man, what? Oh man. no, let me tell you, my brother, I fucked up. He told me he was like, "Hey man, this some good shit. Be easy on it." And you know, I walk out like I'm a fucking vet. I'm from H Time, man. We smoke. Yeah. We 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 put the whole dime in the Philly Titan. What you talking about? Mm-hmm. So, I go to the room. Now, it's like a day before I'm finna leave. I got half a bottle of Hennessy left. The fucking Toronto Raptors is playing the fight. This is the night, this is the, night the Raptors won the finals. Okay. So, I start drinking my Hennessy. 
And then I do my routine. I go downstairs, talk to the wife on the phone. I mm-hmm. take the I take the the dope with me. I light up the raw cone. Instantly, I hit the raw cone. This shit don't hit like no swisher. Matter of fact, this shit don't even yeah. hit right. This shit hit like a like some bullshit. So you can't I'm, you ain't coming through. Exactly, that's what I thought. So I'm walking. Now, now also, I've been drinking Hennessy, and now I'm literally walking. I'm pacing throughout the park a lot. I'm smoking the dope, all right? Because I couldn't smoke in my room. It's a no non smoking room. So <laughs> it, it's so bad in Colorado. They told me you couldn't smoke on the balcony. So I'm okay. pacing, yeah, I'm pacing throughout the park a lot. I'm smoking the dope on 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 the little pre-roll. Mm-hmm. Uh and I, I'm thinking the shit ain't hitting. And so I hit that whole like tough, like I'm taking like drags, like this shit ain't hitting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I want to fuck with the wife <clears throat> with a cup of Hennessy in my hand. I smoked the whole fucking pre-roll. Mm. I'm like, man, this some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I spend my money on this bullshit. Yeah. I walk inside the hotel. I go to the uh, fucking bar, and I saw the end. Kawhi Leonard is one. Yeah, I'm high as fuck, but don't know it. I order chili cheese tater tots book, and I told yeah. her, I said, I want chili cheese tater tots mm-hmm. with no chili and cheese. What she say? <laughs> she looked at me. I say, charge it to the room. Now at yeah. this point, I'm hiding a motherfucker, and yeah. I've been drinking Hennessy, so I'm crossfaded. <laughs> so I'm like, I right, well, I'm claustrophobic. Mm-hmm. So I started feeling like the hotel was closing in on me. The entire hotel. The entire hotel. It's a big ass hotel, and like in my the, mind, like the Umbrella Academy. Yeah, and it, you don't watch the Umbrella Academy. And in my mind, I'm like, the hotel, I got to get outside. Yeah. And in my mind, I'm thinking, but when I get outside, the world is not going to be big enough. Because, you know, I have a fucking, I have a fucking vivid imagination. And so at that the point- The world said, is not going to be big enough. Exactly. So at that point, I said, hey, <laughs> I just need to get to my room. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you that was the longest walk through that corridor to my room, yeah. I get to my room, I close the door, I take my shirt off, I'm watching yeah. the the press conference at the finals, and I'm I'm cool because I'm in yeah. my room. Yeah, nigga, come to the door and like, oh, uh, here goes Jamil. I had ketchup. I opened the thing. I got dry ass tater tots with a little swirl of whipped cream. I mean, uh, or sour cream. And I, I I I laugh from a healthy place, but I just la- I laugh like ten minutes because why I they have sour cream on the because it's tots. chili cheese tater tots with sour cream and onions, no. bro. And I said, I said I want no chili. Some nigga said I told him I told him <laughs> no chili and no cheese. So yeah. they gave me the the sour cream and onions, and I had ketchup. Had packets. onions on top of your diced tater tots? onions because oh, it's man. almost like nachos, but it's tater tots. You ain't never been like to um torch not torches. Huh. Hold on. Um on the other spot. No. I'm anyway. gonna say no. <laughs> so it, it's fucking good, bro. It's like chili cheese, tater tots, you get chili cheese, uh, dice, like, I can see the chili cheese, tater tots, jalapenos, all that shit. But I can see this I can see the sour cream. Yeah. I just can't see the onions. And I definitely can't see the onions by itself. But I told her no chili, no cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And Go she ahead. looked at me like, You sure? I'm like, yeah. So yeah. I laughed for like 10 minutes because I, I, cause I, cause I was high, but he gave me a hybrid, so I went high in my mind, and I was yeah. like, damn, I did tell her no chili, no cheese. And I just laughed for like 10 minutes, bro, because I was so fucking high. I and tried to like lay down and go to sleep. I couldn't go to sleep because I told a nigga I didn't want to be slowed down, so yeah. I was hyper than a motherfucker, high yeah. in a bitch, and I was, I was having all these creative thoughts, and I was like, I just need a notepad. And I said to myself... I need this shit every day. If I can smoke <laughs> this shit every That's day. That's how high you was. No, I, I, was, I was so high. I said, I need this shit every day. I had uh, so many thoughts and ideas. I said, if I can smoke this shit every day, I'm going to be a millionaire in a week. That's what I thought. In man, reality, I'll probably be a millionaire in two years. Man, one time, I was, I think I was, I don't know if I was Kevin or not, I forgot. But I know I was with Erica. 
was Erica, Kevin, or Eric was four of us. I know it was four of us for whatever reason. And so we went to um, Jack in the Box. Like night was like nine thirty, almost ten. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get something quick. Now I was Burger King, and so you know how that when you walk up and you're looking at the menu, you know you you know what they usually have, but you want to like you know what I'm saying see if they got some new add-ins or some price discrepancies where you can play with the you know messed up a little bit, right? Yeah. So so I look and I see chicken nuggets. And said, you saw said, chicken nuggets at where? At um Burger King. Thing, man. And it's, it said twenty for for one ninety nine. They're cheap, bro. And I turned around. I said, "Oh, somebody for get fired like a motherfucker." Because I just, I just knew this was a mistake, man. And it wasn't even one ninety nine. It was like one eighty. I was like, "Man, somebody gonna get fired like a motherfucker." They trying to give away all the chicken nuggets. The burger <laughs> chicken nuggets are pretty cheap. You can't get like, I know what you're talking about, bro. Like now, the ten yeah. piece is like one fifty, but. At one point, they had a deal on a 20-piece. It was a, a, a cheap-ass number. It was a dollar and something, man. So I, so now I can't even order, man, because I'm just laughing like, what from the I'm going to buy all the nuggets, man. Everybody, I'm thinking in my head, everybody in the, in the that comes in here after me going to be mad because I'm going to get three three twenty pieces ain't going to be no more nuggets for the rest of the night. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I'm thinking, man, like, who messed up that bad, bro? It's my finger fired, man. Now, Mr. Six Piece cost McDonald's. Y'all give him 20 away for a dollar fifty. Oh man, I couldn't believe it, man. I could not believe it. So I'm trying to tell them that somebody fucked up. And they're like, that's what it come like, man. Y'all, man, y'all, y'all see what it say? Look. Would you high? Look, very <laughs> extremely. Like, look at that. They're like, what? Look, man, it say 20 nuggets for 150. Yeah. Oh man, I couldn't believe it, bro. So this is what we gotta do. We have to, me and you. Have yeah. to go to Colorado. From we have Colorado. to do a pod from Colorado, but we got to do a pod from Colorado on it. Colorado pod. You do that, man. That's fine. I might be a road trip. Are you from road trip? Or are you talking about flying? She got me fucked up. I ain't going. I fly for free. What are you talking about? At this point, I ain't driving nowhere no more. Matter of fact, I I'm, when I move back to H Town, I'm mad I got to drive. What are you talking about? <laughs> I forgot you had uh, Ace in the hole, man. Uh, and I'm 100 percent moving back to H Town. I'll be in H Town by October. October. Yeah. Are they move in the move? First you said uh First I said September. September but then I yeah, realized yeah. I gotta pay my September rent. So if I gotta pay yeah. my September my I'm a nigga. If I gotta pay rent for September, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I, I get my money's worth. Yeah. I'm gonna be there. Um, um well, so so now it was what I was finna say. So Let's talk since we're here, and then I'm, I want to roll. I want to get your thoughts on Umbrella Academy before we get out of here. So, yeah, uh, you, 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 Burger King Nuggets versus yeah. versus McDonald's Nuggets. McDonald's. Who has the better nugget? The originator boy, I'm the originator boy, rude boy, originator. To me, the, the Burger clot, King, Burger King, the Burger King spicy. Nugget. The, the you think the Burger King Nugget is better? No, the, the the McDonald's is the originator boy, the root boy, originator, the pussy clad right, Burger so King, copycat. Out of all fast food nuggets, the Chick Fil A yes. nugget is the best. No, Chick Fil A is Chick Fil A is, is body boy food. No, you're on drugs. Out of all fast food nuggets, man, Chick- this not even. Out of all, not- out of all fast food nuggets, the Chick Fil A nugget is best, but. We're talking about Ugh. McDonald's versus Burger King. To me, Chick Fil A is average. The bur- the Burger King nugget tastes slightly funny. It has a weird aftertaste. So <laughs> I feel like it's cheaper forced meat than the McDonald's nugget. The McDonald's nugget, when prepared correctly, fresh, yes, yes. is 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 ten times better than any nugget. Any nugget out there. Now, now, hold up, hold up. Now, if you want to talk about nuggets that will make you kind of change, the Wendy's, when they came with the spicy joints, them things right there are solid. Them, them, right. them Wendy's is kind of solid. So, everybody who knows me knows I'm a fat boy, all right? <laughs> so, my go-to meal, Yeah. and I'm, I'm ashamed of this, and honestly, it got yeah. worse. When I, was at eight, when I was in Houston, it wasn't uh-huh. as bad. 
Yeah. I really ain't even fuck with McDonald's. Yeah. Because we had Whataburger. Whataburger mm. is my goat. Everybody, I'm a fat boy. I love hamburgers. Hamburgers is like my favorite food. In Houston, I got okay. Whataburger. So yeah. my go-to meal is a Whataburger. I, I get the number one double meat with cheese. I add bacon and jalapeno. That's my that's my go-to meal. Yeah, I'm going to go get some food after this. Huh? I'm going to get some food after this, man. But when I move to Georgia, it ain't no yeah. Whataburgers in sight. Yeah. So I had to... I had to. I had to go. Even the Wendy's is cut. First off, every restaurant in Atlanta is trash. Our, our, <laughs> is our, every our, single one of them. Everyone, everyone. Our brother, our brother King Head, H-A-A, A A A K A Kevin Cabetta. Yeah. His wife came to Atlanta a couple of weeks ago, and she said that she was hungry because she couldn't find a decent place to eat. Yeah. And I fill up pain because this shit is trash. <laughs> so. <laughs> Literally, literally, trash, trash, literally. Like I had, like, like I had to go to McDonald's because McDonald's would be everywhere. Mm-hmm. So my go-to meal at McDonald's yes. is double quarter pounder with cheese, add so, bacon, and I grab a six piece to go with it. That's that's that's, that's the food of God's right there, man. That but that quarter pounder might be the best. I told you, man, it's, it's the not, best. No, burger, no, no, man. no, no, no. And so this is what I did. This is what I did. Yeah. And I meant to tell you this on a pod, and I don't know if I did. <clears throat> we talked about it, and you told me that the best burger on the market is mm-hmm. the double quarter pounder with cheese. Yeah. And you talked yeah. about how they asked you to wait, and you had an issue with it. Yeah, yeah. I okay. did. Well, did. The, next, the next day after that pod, yeah. I went to McDonald's. Mm-hmm. I ordered the double quarter pounder with cheese. I ordered it how they serve it. I didn't yeah. customize it. Yeah. I ordered the six piece. Fire. Was not asked to wait in lane number two. Mm. I got to my desk at work. I, I bit into my burger mm-hmm. and I said, Boog is full of shit. <laughs> it was salty. It wasn't a bad it just McDonald's is not good, bro. You just the dick. It's not to the it's shit. not. It's not better than what? Or what would you put? I mean, because I think that Five Guys is better. Is a better burger than McDonald's. Five Guys is trash. Overrated. No way. Five, five, five Guys is, is okay. Five Guys is if Five Guys is trash. McDonald's is dumpster juice, bro. McDonald's is not good. To be honest with you, the best sandwich at McDonald's is the Big Mac. No, it's the McRib, man. Get out of here. Nah, see, I used to rock with you, and it's funny because every time the McRib come out for the longest. Yeah. Like I told you, when I was in Houston, I wouldn't eat McDonald's. The yeah. only thing I would eat from McDonald's is the breakfast platter, the pancake platter. Yeah. But like I said, if I could go to a, to a, to a water burger, I'm gonna hit water burger up. So I really ain't fuck with with McDonald's. But when the mm-hmm. McRib came back out, yeah, I would make a point to go grab the McRib, and I don't even eat pork mm-hmm. like that. And it's mm-hmm. funny, is that real pork though? It ain't real pork, but it's but but it's but it's wine porkish. Okay, yeah. My Muslim uncles would not would not approve of this. Okay, <laughs> so so when I go, when McRib come out, yeah, I see the commercial. That's how I know it's back. Yeah, I'll be sitting on the sofa with the wife. I see yeah. the commercial, and she would just look at me and say no. Because yeah. Every time I see the commercial, I get excited. I go grab yeah. the McRib. I eat yeah. the McRib, and then I'll be on the toilet for like the next ten hours. Look here, you know what it is. I think what you what what we what you failed and I also failed to 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 acknowledge that as good as the burger is, the accompanying fry has to be as fire. The who? And that's what the, the accompanying fry that goes with the burger well, see, has to be thing. as fire. So that's the thing. McDonald's fries is on lock. Yeah. So the fries. So in, even anything that might throw you off about the sandwich, the fries are so complimentary to the sandwich. Then it makes the sandwich better. It's like it's like me walking next to like me walking next to Jennifer Hudson. You know what I'm saying? She gonna make me shine a little bit brighter, man. Cause that's you, Jennifer cause, Hudson, cause, man. Cause that's Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Them pro- you talking about you talking about like big Jennifer Hudson or or or, or me? All of them, man. All Hudson. of them. All of them, man. Any right. one of them. Well, let me tell you the truth. Are right, you ready, you ready yeah. for the real truth? Where's the real truth? You're right. McDonald's fries is fire when they're fresh. And yeah. When they're fresh and salted correctly. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take a bold stance on this. 
Uh, Styrofoam box McDonald's was the best McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Tell I say what's up. Um, no, I'm listening. I heard noise. Um, the truth is this: you're right. The fries make the sandwich better. Yeah. Checkers slash rallies is underrated. <laughs> Checkers. If you go to checkers, checkers, checkers no, last listen, rallies, let me it's finish, oily, bro. Let me finish. Let me go finish. Ahead. The checkers, Big Buford, is hands down better than a double quarter pounder, and the fries are fire. The top Greasy. three fast food fries go in the order of this: McDonald's. Mm-hmm. And then Popeyes, and then Checkers. No man, a New Orleans it, nigga had to turn me on to the Checkers because there's more Checkers in Louisiana than it was in Houston. Well, yeah, the, 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 the Louisiana, fire. the Louisiana Bufords are not the Texas Bufords. I'll tell you that now. Nah, but the Georgia Bufords are good. The problem right. with Atlanta is this: if you go to any fast food restaurant in Metro Atlanta, yeah. Man, this is going to sound bad when I say this, bro. I miss <clears throat> I miss my non-English speaking Hispanic workers <laughs> in fast food because if you go oh, to Metro yeah, Atlanta, like when yeah. I first got to Atlanta, I was excited cuz I'm like, man, every fast food is us. It's black people. It yeah. ain't other people. You go to yeah. the gas station it's owned by black by people of color. They might yeah. be Moroccan, but they're people of color. You yeah. go to Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's, there's people of color working in there. It was like the mm-hmm. early 90s. All the fine females that you went to high school with was working in the fast food. Oh, yeah, Bless you. you. The problem yeah. is in Metro Atlanta, mm-hmm. all the black it's people work in the fast food. So the, the <laughs> service is trash, my nigga. Your fries be half rolled if you go to like... I'm, I will never... When we get through with this pot, I'm hungry as fuck. I won't. I will yeah. not go down the street to McDonald's, or Wendy's, or Burger King, or Rallies because the, yeah. you're gonna sit in line for 45 minutes, and then when you get to, they ain't gonna have some. I ain't going. I, fuck it. I'm not going. I'm <laughs> be hungry. I can't even go That's to crazy. Waffle House. No, it's a Waffle House on every corner, bro. I can't even fucking go to Waffle House. Because all the females who work in Waffle House is too fly yeah. to be working there. They feel like they shouldn't be working there. They waiting for some Atlanta rapper to come scoop them up. It'd be like a club in there? No, but them bitches think that they that they are like uh, you know, rapper worthy. Are they are they are they sixes thinking they eights or are they eights thinking they tens? Bro, they're like three thinking they tens, bro. Oh, okay. So you man. might get a seven. You might get a seven. You might get a seven. You might get a seven. That's that's tough. A seven? Um yeah, man, we 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 when when the checklist of things to give out was given, man, our people, customer service, wasn't the ones that we. Nah, no, 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 no. We no, didn't. No. We didn't. Yeah. I will it's say hard. this though. I will say this though. The the checker slash rallies mm-hmm. is better than McDonald's. The sandwich is small though. But that's the problem, bro. The 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 quarter small pounder. Sandwich. The yeah. quarter pounder is is is. When you go to McDonald's and get the quarter pounder, bro, if McDonald's yeah. ain't nothing, they consistent, bro. You know you're going to get a decent sized meal for the price point. You're going to mm-hmm. be uh, cleaned out. So you're going to poop all everything. Your whole system is going to be clean. So your colon will be cleansed. And um, I don't know. know I, don't have, I don't have a problem with that. Like that. I don't eat. Man, I don't you're eat the from chicken. Africa, though, bro. See, I'm, <laughs> I am a, a black American. Mm-hmm. So, you know. My, I, know, I feel like my immune system, I would jump ain't 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 how it should be. But since you're <laughs> from Africa for real, like your immune system is strong, like ox. <laughs> strong like <laughs> ox. <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, man. Uh, the top three fries, man, in this order, yeah. and any change to that, any change to this order, come with a fight, man. All right, let me hear it. Frenchies. Oh, I forgot about Frenchies. McDonald's. Okay. I'm waiting on third one, bro. Chick fil A waffle fries. I can't argue with that. Now, I will say this, though. Yeah. 
new Frenchies or old Frenchies? Because old Frenchies in front of uh, U of H, that old Frenchie, yeah, yeah. they yeah. had the little makeshift type tent in the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, them fries was fired, bro. But when you start yeah. getting into the little Frenchies in the clock, they hit or miss depending on what mood the workers in. Yeah, and they always and fuck their moods. So I was yeah. like, damn, man. I'm and gonna like, try to fix like this the window, French, man. The French, and see, this is what I love about Frenchies. Because you yeah. can go to Frenchies in the clock and get the hand clock special. Yeah. And then you can go to Frenchies in the fifth ward and get the fifth ward special. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and then you hit the Frenchies in between, you got to get the king special. Mm. Yeah. That's true. But That's true. Know. That's true. They, I think the new building should be up by now. They had a new build. They had a, a building on Scott and a little further down. They, they moved the other way behind Yates. I think it's up now. I'm just glad but, uh, we ain't got Williams chicken no more. Yeah, that was that was that was a horrible fry. That was a horrible fry. And it was shouldn't have been horrible because all they did was bought into the French. I, I feel like they just bought all the Frenchies. I feel like Frenchie, I feel like Frenchies has changed ownership five times. A couple of times. The Cruzo was still over there though. The Cruzo still got a hold of it though. Who um who used to have steak fries? Uh steak and shake. So I will say this though The Wendy's natural cut fry If you get it fresh It's pretty See good. I was thinking about the season sauce Wendy's natural cut I was yeah, thinking yeah, about yeah. that too the, 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 But then the, the always now natural say, cut fry is pretty good I was going to put them over The always night put them over The waffle fries Because I'm, I want my Wendy's waffle I want my Wendy's fries With the baconator um, You know what I'm saying With the whole baconator fries With the cheese and the bacon You know what I'm saying That's how I enjoy them fries Whereas the Chick Fil A by themselves, you know, I could do the waffles. Well, see, you know, they be see, bland as well, fuck, see, man. The Chick Fil A waffle fry is great. Is great quality. Yeah. And see, that's but the it's difference. but it's bland though, bro. It's nah, bland, but bro. see, that's the difference between now. Now, see, when you start getting into your chicken tenders and shit, fast foods. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you feel about Canes. Canes is high quality chicken, but that shit ain't got no season on it. You gotta, you gotta use your dipping sauce. With sauce, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're stress true, but um, um, can't just straight they fries, man. They, they can do a little something with them fries, man. They get because the fries ain't bad. They they, they crinkly, you know what Cane's I'm saying? Canes is high quality food, but it's just no season. If the if the fries get wet, it's over. If any moisture gets on them fries, it's over, man. Yeah, see, Burger King fries be just salty, bro. They just like yeah. they put the, all the salt on them. Uh, the McDonald's fries, man, they got flavor, man. They flavorful and they, they when they golden. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Five Guys fries. There'd be too many of them in the bag. Five man. Guys, I ain't putting nothing in it because it's too expensive, bro. For what it is, man, it's not it's like it's not my No, the hamburger's fire. It's not. So the Five Guys hamburger's fire. Um, the Shake Shack hamburger's fire. But for me, the Shake Shack hamburger. No, I know about Shake Shack. Oh, Shake Shack. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about Shake and Steak. Shake and Shake. You got to go to the outskirts to hear Shake and Steak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they used to have one on Richmond. I'm not Richmond on uh, South Pole Stoke. Way back in the game. Now in Houston, you got to go to the Woodlands if you want to get Johnny Rockets. Never Johnny Rockets before. is fire. But the first time I had Johnny Rockets was in Georgia at the Underground. From the underground, bitch. From the and I had a double sided <laughs> shake. That shit was fire. And when I went to Johnny Rockets in Houston, a double sided shake. Yeah, they sound sexual. What is that? It was like chocolate and vanilla in one shake. It was fire, bro. And they, you, you, you do double sided shakes. And it's on like all on one side. Nah, it's like two separate sides, it's like the Great Divide. Oh, so it's not in the same. It's, it's in, in the same, same cup, cup, but it's separated. But it's separated. Yeah. So if really, I, you got two if shakes. I remember correctly, that's a that's a fat man's drink right there, man. Oh, one hundred. Really, just realize like the same thing. You got you can get two. We just call it a double shake. You get you get eighteen ounces, man, nine ounces each shot. You know what I'm talking about? Back in the day, me and my boy Big Smooth, aka Big Kurt, sell mm -hmm. one three motoring out there with Big Ash. Man, we'd go to the club. After the club, we hit a Waterburg. Yeah. You know. Big Smooth was a legit O lineman, D one type nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like legit NFL O lineman type nigga. He was that skilled. We got a Waterburger, and this nigga would get the double meat Waterburger meal with a large fry, large mm. drink. Mm. He a backdoor that shit with a large shake, bro. 
Mm. That was a lot of fucking food. That was, man. You know, Whataburger fries, man. They Whataburger hit fries miss. had they hit miss. They had, but they had the least. Like you can't get home and eat them fries. Some fries you can get home and eat, man. Why you like them right, drive, right then, man? Because if not, you're gonna be like, man, I'm chewing cardboard, man. Because they already soggy. That's the, like, like they mm. already be soft. Like they on soft already. But they ain't good soft. They just like like they died. Like these fries that got they lost the fight. These I never fight, understood fight. how you can order fries from Whataburger. And they either half of them be too soft, pause, and the other mm-hmm. half would be too too crunchy, pause. They, they they ain't never on point, they man. Ain't never on you know, point. You know, I know drug cartels do business in the United States like heavy. How you know? Because of James Coney Island. Oh, see, 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 Coney Island <clears throat> is a letdown for me because as a child, yeah, as a child, yeah, I. I, I, unlike some people, I have See? fun memories of Coney yeah. Island in my childhood. Right, because you had little hands, bro. That's why, and you didn't have taste buds. No, oh, when you were kids, you had little Coney hands. Coney Island, bro, and because I love hot dogs, pause. Coney Island was a great <laughs> hot dog, bro. <laughs> me and the old man. No, no, back on, no man, pause. <laughs> At, <laughs> as an adult, I would go to Coney Island, and it was a letdown, bro. Because you, you, your taste buds mature past the level of a seven-year-old, man. Exactly. That's bro. why, man. Exactly. You look just like, man, look at this, man. Who would eat this slop? Shit. Oh, boy, yeah, man. Ass shit. And my boy, Same. and my boy Jordan keep telling me, like, stop going to Coney Island, but I can't because every time I see Coney Island, I think about what the what the hot dog used to be. I go get man, it. And the presentation is still the same. The oh, not, man, they don't be giving. They don't even be giving like Oscar Myers, man. What's got now? Solid hot dogs is trash too, man. They don't. Even, they don't even be juicing plump paws. Paws. You know nigga. what I'm saying? They be like just regular like microwave hot dogs. I'm like, y'all ain't even boiling. I can tell you, I ain't boiling these, man. Why? Do you... you want to spicy <sighs> shit? The best hot right. dog I've had, fast food wise. Since I've been in Georgia, pause. It's Quick Trip. It's a gas station chain called Quick Trip, and they oh, have yeah. the hot dog on the um, rotisserie thingy. Oh yeah, I I done made that bad decision, mate. But them it's rancheros be hard though. Be one hundred percent beef. They be fire, bro. Them rancheros be hard though. You ever seen the rancheros on yeah, the, on the, on not, the roller I, thing? I no, no, I don't go outside the hot dog. The Southwest Ranchero, that, that thing hard, man. That thing hard, bro. I'm talking about this. We got we got like beans and corn in it, bro. Things are hard, man. They hard. All right, I gotta get out of here because the dog is whining. I gotta take the dog out before she poops in my get room. Get pumped out, pump out, bitch. Talk to them niggas. See what you see? What you see? What I did? Probably, I so, you saw it there. You calling out? Calling females, bitches. I got you. No, no. I'm talking about you said the dog, right? So the dog was whining. And then my next door neighbors are having a party, bro. They've been having a party since I got home from work. They really loud. I'm pretty sure their whole party is going to mm. be on the pod, bro. I mean, you might as well go over there and, and say, you should run there. We should have lied. <laughs> We're going to the party. It's 16 shots. It's laid off. It's my neighbor. Hey, man, what's up, man? I'm a little, what's up, shouty? This is this, this little right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, right, that's my. That's We're my hour 28 in. You can do two yeah. things. You can wait till I come back in. Or we can pick back up on Sunday. What you want to do? Well, we can Sunday, have a new man. pod on Sunday. New pod on Sunday. Because I think I might have a couple guests. This has been another episode of the 16 Shots Podcast with one young James Boogie. Song, song. And now y'all dog. Tell me how you took it. I'm going to tell you what I meant. And we out. You know what I'm talking about? Instruments to get the bitches, man.